Now, Trevor, the inline skater. Someday you're going to get unlucky. He's dominating over Riney Campbell. Well, well out front. Well over a four to one favorite to win this pot. Good luck. Someday you're going to get unlucky. Ace King versus Ace Three. Trevor, about a 70% favorite to win this pot with the Ace King. Can Riney Campbell get lucky yet again? Trevor, this flop is not going to be good for you. Okay, here comes the first three on the flop, and they both hit aces, but Riney with kicker problems. And with that pot, Trevor jumps up to well over an 80% favorite to win this pot. Riney going to have to catch a three to win the pot. He could also catch a running 5-6 to make a straight, but that doesn't happen as a ten of spade comes on the turn. So we are down to the river card. Riney Campbell must catch a three on the river to win this pot. Three. Well, he was close. Our four comes off. Well, you can't win them all. Trevor taking down his first nice pot of the evening. He's been very patient so far. Finally, it pays off. I'm just a guy from Vancouver. I play lots of poker out there, and I'm new to the World Poker Tour for sure. Why do I like it? It gets my heart going. It's a thrill. I can't beat this. And so back home, we go play poker and walk outside and you're in the rain. I'm out here on a white sandy beach, and it's awesome. He's living the dream right now. Well, Trevor going to double up here. Randy Campbell once again now finds himself on the short stack, Vince. He's been there consistently at this final table so far. So nobody wants to go home here from Turks and Caicos, the land of the beach ball, the bikini, and the baby oil. Trevor Hebert surviving an all-in battle there to stay alive. Action back on Chris Smith. Chris, a very tight, solid player. Looks down at a junky little 4-3 offsuit. Won't play that. Trevor lays down a 7-6. Alan Sass going away. And now Eric Cajolet in the small blind has an ace-3. Well, it's the battle of the blinds here. Eric is going to raise it. Makes it 41,000 to go. Come on in. Oh, the king of poker on Turks and Caicos has picked up two kings. And he says all I in with it. What is it. Got the King Kongs. And Eric wants to know exactly how much it's going to cost him. He flopped the top two pair against the open end of straight draw the last time he had Ronnie all in. He got beat. So right now, you know he's eyeing those chips because he's got to feel like they belong to him a little bit, Vince. A former bartender with a huge decision right now. There's not quite a quarter of a million dollars in the pot. It's going to cost him another 140000 to make this call. So he's not getting two to one odds on his money. But still, this guy's been a thorn in his side. He'd like to get rid of him. He's got the chips. He can afford to make the call. Will he gamble here? Well, he's doing it, Vince. He has made well, the call. Get out of the boys. Now, Rhino says, say hi to the boys. He turns up the two kings. <laughs> Eric winces as he sees that. Even with that big duke that Rhino has, because he's got nays in his hand, he's just slightly worse than a two to one underdog to win this pot. So it's not as bad as it looks. Oh, Eric is due, man. He hasn't hit a hand all day. As the players are saying at the table, Eric, you're due for a little luck here. He's taking two horrendous beats on the river to lose a couple pots at this final table. Maybe he can get lucky this time. Let's take a look at our flop. Not there, he's not. Well, he's caught bottom pair. It's come queen 6-3. So now he can win the pot with an ace or a three. He says, look, this guy's outdrawn me already at this final table. Why can't I outdraw him one time? Well, eight of hearts comes on the turn. So we are down to the river card. Eric Cajolet must catch an 